just recently, the chief executive officer at McDonald's was asked a question during a call with investors. And the question had to do with how is the consumer doing? How is the U.S. consumer doing? And his answer is a dire warning to all of us that we need to know. So the CEO of McDonald's is a gentleman by the name of Chris Kamczynski. And here was his answer to the question as to how the consumer is doing. So he says, we're seeing pressure with the U.S. consumer in that low income category. Let's call it $45,000 a year and under. That consumer is pressured. From an industry standpoint, we actually saw that cohort decrease in the most recent quarter, particularly as he thinks about eating at home has become more affordable than going out to McDonald's. There's been much less pricing that's been taking place more recently, both in fast food and in packaged food. So you're seeing that eating at home is becoming more affordable, and he thinks that that's putting some pressure on the low-income consumer and the places that they shop. So that's a warning for all of us. And then the follow-up question to that was, how is that impacting your thoughts about the promotions of McDonald's throughout the year? And as I record this, McDonald's is, is just days away from releasing a new $5 value menu. Now, of course, this video is not about that, but it's about the warning that the consumer is tapped out. During, during the pandemic, when we were receiving stimulus checks, prices continued to rise, and we all saw the price of groceries go up. We saw the price of, of food at McDonald's go up. I've got a couple videos on that as well, just inflation and how it's impacting people. But it's a dire warning to all of us because the economy in the U.S., Three-fourths, or I should say about 70% of the economy is, is the consumer. And if you get the health of the consumer right, you'll get the health of the economy right. And this warning by the CEO of McDonald's tells us that we're in trouble. And I can tell you that McDonald's is not offering a $5 meal deal this summer because they want to. They're doing that, I think, because they have to, because the consumer is demanding it. In fact, if we look at the prices at McDonald's, so this is a, a photo of a menu uh, from the late 1970s. You have to kind of chuckle, right? The, the hamburger was 28 cents. A large order of French fries was under 50 cents. You could get a milkshake for 35 cents. So how have the prices of McDonald's gone up since since that period of time, since the late 70s, the early 80s. And this chart shows the, the average price of a Big Mac versus inflation, versus CPI, the Consumer Price Index. So you can see really for, for 20 years, the price of the Big Mac was staying pretty steady with, with inflation. But since the early 2000s, the price of a Big Mac has really skyrocketed and as we approach 2020, that price actually went quite a bit higher. So in some areas of the country, a Big Mac meal costs almost $20 now. Not quite, but it's getting there, and it's getting there pretty closely, pretty quickly. And there was a period of time where companies were able to pass along price increases and even more. And, and they probably took advantage of the situation. In some ways, I can't blame them. A company's job is is to provide returns for investors, to provide value for their customers, and, and to maximize their profits. And, and if they can raise their prices, they, they will, and we've certainly seen that. But I think we're at the tail end of it. And so we, it's a warning sign. It's one of the leaves in this tea leaves that we're looking at, trying to figure out what's going to happen with the economy. There's a lot of talk about a soft landing with the economy, at the beginning of this year, as I record this, many people thought there were going to be three, four, or maybe even more interest rates cut by the Federal Reserve. And you know what? We haven't seen that. As I record this, we haven't seen a single rate cut. Mortgage rates are still super high. Inflation has come down, but it's that last mile of inflation that tends to be the hardest 
in the longest. So we we almost saw inflation top out at ten percent, and and it came down pretty rapidly down to the mid fours. But that journey from high threes, low fours in inflation to the two and a half percent that the Federal Reserve has said that they'd like to see to two and a half percent. That what I call the last mile of inflation, that's a really tough last mile. And I think the fact that McDonald's is feeling the pressure to do this five dollar uh, meal this summer, um, this is this chart here has a, a quote from the the president of McDonald's, a gentleman by the name of Joe Erlinger, and he says, "We've heard our fans loud and clear. They're looking for even more value from us." And this summer, that's exactly what they'll get. That's a direct quote uh, from Joe Erlinger. And he says, value's always been a part of McDonald's DNA. We're focused on living up to that legacy and offering, in his words, delicious, affordable options. Customers can enjoy any time they walk through our doors, go through our drive-in, or place an order on our app. So it's this $5 meal, which uh, lets you get a McDouble, uh, or a McChicken, it's four items. It's the McDouble or McChicken. It's a four-piece chicken McNuggets. And then it's a small soda and a small fries. And uh, a pro tip, if you use the, the McDonald's app, you can actually get, shows up on my app as a uh, medium fry for, for free with a $1 purchase. But it actually, according to this ad from the McDonald's, uh, website. It's actually a large fry now. So you can get that $5 meal. You can get that 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 uh, free French fries. And McDonald's is doing that because they're seeing the consumer pressured. And again, it's it's if we get the middle class right, if we get the consumer right, if we get their spending right, we'll largely get the economy. And going back to the Federal Reserve and people's thoughts that we're, we're going to get a soft landing. Soft landings are really difficult to achieve, and that is essentially trying to slow the economy to to bring back inflation while not causing a recession is super, super hard to do. It's not impossible. It can happen. And I would argue what we've seen over the last two, two and a half years since the Federal Reserve has started raising interest rates is we've kind of seen what I call a rolling recession. So unemployment has has stayed in a healthy category. Unemployment is still at historic lows, which is a great thing. And I think what we've seen is different categories have slowed down. Different categories of the economy have slowed down as opposed to all of them contracting at once. I think that the, the fact that the consumer still had excess money from the during the pandemic era, I think that was helpful. But I've done a video about how the consumer is rapidly running out of money. And for the large part, that stimulus money is all gone now. And so now it's it's money coming in the front door. And frankly, while wages have increased since the pandemic, they haven't kept up with inflation. I've done a video where I've shown that chart before, uh, where if you look at it in absolute dollars, it looks like uh, the workers have kept up on an hourly basis and may have even gained some traction, but we have to remember how high inflation was there for a while. So that's the dire warning from McDonald's. I think there's there's a dire warning. There's a clock that we all need to be listening to as well, and that's our own internal clocks. You know, what are we thinking for retirement? What are we thinking for enjoying the journey up until retirement? And that's why I made this video here, five reasons to retire as soon as you can. You've worked hard your entire life. I want to see you squeeze all the joy and life out of what I call the youth of your senior years. Remember, if you're 60 years old, unfortunately, most of us have less than a thousand weeks of healthy active time in front of us. So watch this video, five reasons to retire as soon as you can. Thank you.